This weekend, a layer of mostly unknown history was unveiled as the old Tun farm site received state recognition as a place of refuge for escaped slaves seeking freedom. Along the banks of the Little Calumet River near 134th Place and St. Lawrence. We welcome you all here today to Chicago's finest marina. Close to the Golden Gate and Altgeld Garden neighborhoods, decades of untold history are coming to light. I grew up around Altgeld Gardens and so close to it I never knew. Joyce Powell is one in a large crowd visiting Chicago's finest marina to celebrate the unveiling Two, one, three. of the newly installed Illinois State Historical Society marker, recognizing the significance of this land during slavery. We expect that more people will become aware of this site and its significance in the Underground Railroad now that we have it here on site. Chicago's finest marina sits on land that was once the Tun farm in the mid 1800s. The Tuns were Dutch farmers who often with the help of another Dutch family used their property as a site on the Underground Railroad helping freedom seekers escape slavery. My research suggests that 500 to 800 freedom seekers left Chicago mostly walking and they were on their way to Detroit and freedom in Canada. As this unspoken chapter in history unfolds, Ronald Gaines, owner of Chicago's finest marina, wants to extend the knowledge he's learned. We feel it's time to share with the public as best we can because of the uh, history that we have behind it. It's a history that author and historian Glenette Tilly Turner captures in her book, The Underground Railroad in Illinois. I went to high school and college in, in Illinois and no teacher or textbook ever mentioned any Underground Railroad involvement uh, in Illinois. During her remarks, Congresswoman Robin Kelly said sites like the Old Ton Farm serve as inspiration in today's society. There is so much going on in our country now that will require brave citizens to stand up to do the right thing. The Underground Railroad provides important lessons for our children and our grandchildren. It's important for us to look back to see the things that we've over overcome in the past, but also to look forward to what's possible when we support one another. Joyce, who doesn't live far from here, says she is proud to be so close to land once used to aid her ancestors to freedom. I'm hoping something can be done every year to bring attention and awareness to this place because it is so important. In 2019, the National Park Service added the Old Ton Farm site to the Network to Freedom program, officially recognizing it as an underground railroad station. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Jewel Hillary. Back to you.